I just want everyone to be honest and tell the truth. I Living just know. a mile from Keystone Church, Chrissy Askins wants answers about how many kids tested positive following the Keller Church's summer camp. How Keystone is making me feel is like they're trying to protect their brand and like they don't have much care or concern for our health or well-being. Photos on their Facebook page were deleted Sunday night, but we captured screen grabs and they show dozens of kids shoulder to shoulder with no masks, not social distancing. Now several parents tell us their kid tested positive, but so far county and state leaders not giving specifics have only said that they are aware of positive cases linked to the camp. In their only statement, Keystone Church said in part, if any camper was possibly exposed, the parents or guardians of the exposed camper were immediately notified under the guidelines of the Texas State Health Department and the CDC. But Askins thinks the church needs to inform the community. We are all sharing facilities. We're all sharing grocery stores, restaurants. Um, it's fair to want to know if, you know, there's a large outbreak going basically in your backyard. I was very disappointed in uh, the photos. Tarrant County Judge Glenn Whitley said a lack of precaution can impact us all. If we're going to beat this thing, we've got to be wearing the masks. We've got to be doing the social distancing. The church hosted the camp in early July at Latham Springs Retreat Center, about 25 miles north of Waco. The retreat center told us Tuesday they've shut down for two weeks out of an abundance of caution after learning news about the positive tests. They said about 450 people were at the camp, roughly 300 students. And now the community wants to know how many of them brought coronavirus back to DFW. I think we all just need to be on the same team. We all want to fix it. We all want to get back to normal. I think that we're just disagreeing on how to do that. In Keller, I'm Alex Rosier.